Hello, hello, welcome again, welcome, welcome. Uh, everyone, I missed you. I'm so sorry I haven't been putting out these videos as frequently as I can. As you know, life happens. and But uh, hopefully with God's help, we're going to get right back into this now that the um, the Messianic period has now kicked off. Russia's decided to invade Ukraine and all the Kabbalists and, and prophecy is starting to unfold. And so now even more than before we need amuna and we need betacha and we need faith in god and we need trust and reliance on god and luckily big shout out to my friend wendy lusk who introduced me to this new book from the base halevi otherwise known as uh rabbi yosef dov selvachik of brisk and this is an incredible incredible safer um, book and it's really really concise and short and to the point like i'm trying to make these videos now because i know attention spans of today are not what they used to be so with that we're going to get right into it and we're going to learn in the merit that god protect us all and and save the world and uh and help the coming of the of messiah be an easy and swift one so uh right away chapter uh, chapter aleph chapter one says that betachon is an obligation uh, the Beis Levi gets right into it saying that um, that it's a sin not to have it, that you really have to have betachon. The obligation of betachon appears in many uh, psukim or scriptures, to and too many to count. And if one lacks betachon, it's regarded as a great sin. So let's see what he's going to talk about. He's obviously going to expand upon that. And so chapter 2, not having betachon in Hashem and being fearful instead is itself the cause of downfall, which we all know if we've studied the book The Secret or anything on the Law of Attraction, we know that our persistent thoughts become a reality. And so um, here he is agreeing with it because we know that The Secret and the Law of Attraction is across all religions and all time, and all successful people knew about it and studied it. And we know that the hypochondriac who's always thinking about getting sick, sure enough, they get sick. So we really do manifest our reality. So here, learning about Betochon is even more important with that truth. Furthermore, this sin itself, meaning lack of Betochon, causes him to fall, i.e. come to harm. As can be seen in Scripture's statement, when Solomon says in Mishle, a man's fear will place a snare, but one who relies on Hashem will be fortified. For when a person trembles in fear of something rather than relying on Hashem, this itself causes a snare, one that did not even exist previously to be placed in front of him regarding that very matter that he feared. So there you go, right away. The Beis Levi describes frightening consequences of being afraid. Does the Torah truly expect that one shall not be afraid of any situation or difficulty he is faced with? This would seem impossible, for isn't fear a natural human instinct? The Stipler Gaon writes in Birkaz Peretz that one is certainly not held accountable for natural fears or anxiety he experiences, which is practically uncontrollable. The Torah was not given to angels and does not expect us to be superhuman. However, he explains, the Stipler Gaon, that one must control himself not to think about worrisome thoughts on an ongoing basis, he puts the emphasis, as such thoughts cause additional fear. Instead, one must strengthen himself with thoughts of emuna and bitachon. Accordingly, one is held liable only for the additional fear that he brings upon himself. Very interesting. Here we are right at the beginning, right off the bat, showing and saying that you as a human being, you can control, you are expected to control your fears that you are adding on as extra. Meaning it's normal to have a fear of, you know, uh, maybe uh, not being able to pay your bill next month or a natural fear of, of, of not being healthy and working on that. But he's saying here that um, the additional fears that you, when you start worrying about uh, things that are way beyond your uh, ability to control, then you're no, that's a big no-no. I think that's what the stipler going is saying. If you disagree, feel free to leave a comment. And if you haven't already, uh, like and share and come and um, this video with people that you know and love. That really helps me out. And 
Um, hopefully we'll do another video sometime shortly continuing on this very important topic. I love you all. Thank you so much.